Yes. Okay, so the idea at the heart of our strategy is to live long enough to live as long as you want and to look and feel and great endlessly. Endlessly um, in, the, in the sense of the word that, you know, we're going to get knocked off by an accident maybe one, at one time or another, but let's, let's address those problems later on. So two bridges, reprogram your biochemistry starting now. And you can go to Life Extension Express, go through the seven steps to show you how to reprogram them. And this last point is critical, and I want this to burn in your brain. Medical advances are accelerating. We've got a couple of people predicting, a very well-respected scientist are predicting, that within 15 years, the age of your projected death, your maximum lifespan, no matter what age you are, is going to be moving away from you rather than having you close in on it. We're going to be adding more than one year to your expected lifespan every calendar year. So it's like the sands of time. You have an hourglass there, Greta. It's like the sands of time flowing up into the top part of the hourglass instead of, instead of my squares ticking away. So again, it's, it, I mean, I can't, I can't stress how important it is to be alive when this happens. It's going to be exactly 15 years. I know, probably not. It could be sooner. It could be a little later. But I mean, this is something we need to shoot for. And at least we get in the holding pattern until we get everything else developed. Now, um, the worst case that we're going to see here, if you follow the advice that you live, and, and when I say you, I'm talking to the world. Because I want this message to get out to the world. Worst case, if you follow the things that we're doing here, you're going to add, if you're average, five to 20 years to your life. Better, though, is a bridge to the future technologies. And we're going to strategize today on funding the research to increase your odds, everybody's odds, accelerate the progress. Because if we don't, we lose 100,000 lives a day unnecessarily prematurely. Our objectives, deliver the message to the universe. Everybody needs to know what's going on here, folks. Uh, getting the, raising the funding, or at least not raising the funding. You're not here to raise the money. We're here to raise ideas on how to raise the money. We're going to strategize and get some creative concepts. And then, of course, reach longevity, escape velocity. This is for our personal survival. And we maintain ourselves, but we need to pull all the stops for this next 15 years and actually a little bit beyond, as you'll see in a moment. Once that happens, once we're demonstrating this capability, you watch Wall Street, the flood of money coming from Wall Street will be like something you've never seen before. So if the, if the, the budgets that we're going to project here aren't enough to complete this, and it won't be, or, 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 or make it perfect, we're going to see so much money coming into this industry that it's, it's going to make your head spin. Why? Because we're going to be able to demonstrate age reversal. Now, where's the money going today? The money, for the most part, is going into what I call deathist industries. Tobacco and alcohol and fast foods, uh, God, you know, soft drinks, alcoholic, soft drinks probably actually more than alcoholic. Um, they're great investments, otherwise people wouldn't be making them. You may be making these investments unconsciously if you're invested in a hedge fund or a mutual fund or some sort of retirement plan or maybe even directly investing. Uh, Warren Buffett made all this money on Coca-Cola. I mean, I'm not saying they're bad investments. All I'm saying is that these investments are killing you. And I'm suggesting that, I'm not even suggesting we upset the economy by yanking all the money. I couldn't do it anyway, although I would like to see tobacco disappear, for example. But, uh, but what, doesn't it make sense to just commit a small portion of our investment portfolios into something that's actually good for you and that would ultimately have a possibility of, make, of being way, way, way more profitable? So what's getting...